How do you help people to perceive their own cultural indoctrination without making them angry? We're reviewing some of these things. Well, you have to do a survey of people and what causes them to respond that way. And you have to learn mentally how to reach different types of people with different value systems. For example, if I wish to change religious people, I start out with the Bible, where they say that God is omnipotent, all-loving, all-caring. Then when he told Noah to build an ark, he said he's going to flood everybody out. That seems to be contradictory. If God was going to flood everybody out and kill all animals, all children, and all the people that he so-called created, then that doesn't make them all-loving and all-knowing and all-kindness. So you have to find the contradictions, and if the contradictions are not answered, you have to surrender those values in relation to values that coincide with the real physical reality. I don't like the idea of God sending his son down to the earth to tell people about the existence of God. God doesn't have to send his son down. He can make people aware of that right away. Since he's omnipotent and knows everything, I don't like the stories in the Bible. They seem childish and infantile concepts of God. They're not advanced concepts of God. The concepts of God I read about in the Bible, he's a jealous God. He's an angry God. This doesn't make sense to me. It isn't God that man is talking about. He's talking about his own concepts of God. And when people get angry, they get angry because you're threatening their value system. So if you take away their religion, then you replace it with something else, some other ways of meeting their aspirations for society. You know, introduce them to the Venus Project. 